so I'm here in my backyard and I have some extra equipment that I can't keep in my shop. Uh, we keep Catherine's uh, little play car in there and I still need some room to work in my shop. And so we've got some four wheelers, lawnmower, golf cart, stuff like that, that I want to keep outside, but I don't want to keep it outside. I only want to keep the rain off it and want to keep it nice. And so I looked and I mean, sheds are so expensive or different things to keep things in. I mean, expensive. So I got to looking around and we had the old dog fence, uh, the old fencing and the posts that were driven in the ground when we when we pulled all that up, I saved it because I'm a hoarder, I guess. And so I decided what I would do is use that old dog fence and weld it together and make some kind of a, kind of a lean to that I could park under that would keep the rain off uh, and also wouldn't collect rain and, and end up looking horrible. And so uh, I wanna kind of share that with you, give you some, maybe some ideas if you're looking to do the same thing on a budget. Okay, so here back of the house and then here's the shop. And then here is the little lean-to that I built. Uh, very inexpensive. Now again, I had the dog fence. And so what I did was I made a square. A square that was 10 feet by 20 feet. Hooked all the fencing together, welded on the corners, cut it at a 90 degree angle. So, and I, listen, this is like the most serious chicken poop welds that you've ever seen. I did not grind it. I did not paint it. I left it in all of its crappy glory just as a, a testament to my welding skills. I got a 10 by 20 tarp on Amazon, probably set me back 30 bucks or so. I used some clothesline to uh, attach the tarp around the perimeter of the tarp to the frame. These three little legs here, I had from an old shed that I got at, or an old tarp shed that I got from Harbor Freight that blew away in the rain as they always do. What I did was to connect that, I took the main uh, pole here, took a PVC, piece of PVC, cut it, uh, put it on an angle up at the top up there, drilled a hole, drilled a hole, put a carriage bolt through down here, and then at the top, again, ran some clothesline wire up and around and around so that that is connected. You can also see, I'll get up under here and you can see what the frame looks like. Uh, I've got one piece, it's just a rectangle with one piece welded in the middle. And then I ran clothesline straight down all the way the length of it and then attached turnbuckles in the middle so that I could tighten it, you know, pull it as tight as you can and then tighten it. And then I also did the same thing in an X fashion from corner to middle to corner. And then the same thing from corner to middle to corner. Put turnbuckles on that so I could tighten them as well. Also um, screwed some pressure treated lumber against the shop here and then used some uh, some brackets and just screwed it in. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four brackets up there. Not, not, any, big, not any big deal. Uh, to hang it, I got some bigger brackets that I didn't plan on using, bent them open so that when I lifted it up, I could drop it in those brackets just to keep it up there. While then I went around with the, with the screwdriver and drilled in the the brackets on the outside the outside of this i can take these off fairly simply i can take them out and then this just rotates down so before a snowstorm i take the legs off and let it fall against there that way the snow load doesn't end up and, and it doesn't get on this and break it you'll also see that there's a gap all the way around here and so what that does is it prevents water what I found was when I had an earlier tarp that went over this, water would get trapped back in here and start to pool down here. And then I'd end up like poking a hole to let it drain or something, it just looked horrible. So now all of this is just gaps. So rain can run off down here on the bottom, but it doesn't get on the back of the lawnmower or the four wheelers, or I'm standing where the golf cart goes. You can see the golf cart charger right there. The legs again swivel, uh, so if I have, one of my kids out here, they can they can grab a far leg and I'll grab a near leg and then we can lower it down very, very slowly. I also did something else. I tied with, again, with the clothesline because this is supposed to be meant to be outside, right? I tied this off to the corner down to a cinder block that just hangs, it's off the ground. And what that does is give this corner good weight 
to hold this corner down in breezes. This doesn't act like too much of a sail, but it does. And so I have a cinder block on that end, and then I have a cinder block tied hanging on this other end on the other side of that lattice. So that gives me a spot to park the golf cart there. So that is the lean-to shed outside, very inexpensive cover that I built. And uh, there it is. Now, I know that not everybody has a welding machine. Not everybody has dog fencing laying around, but you can find what you got and just put something together. This was real simple. Didn't cost me a whole lot of money. Even if you went to Lowe's and bought the dog fencing, you're still not out that much money. The tarp was probably the most expensive thing. Again, 35 bucks or so on Amazon. And if that tarp gets messed up, I'll just order another one. Uh, un unwrap the clothesline, rewrap it, put it right back up. No big deal. So I hope this helped you just get an idea of, of ways to keep stuff outside, but still keep it nice. But don't forget, make sure you make it to church on Sunday. Okay, so these things are examples of RVs that would scare me to death. Like right here, do you, does that look stable to you? They're just on little tiny sets of bricks. Little tiny sets of bricks. And then over here, this one is just barely hanging on with those wheels. Well, they're just hanging in the air. But the front of it is sitting on our refrigerator. I mean, jinky scoops, that is just not safe.